The goal of weight loss is to look good in my bathing suit. No, wait. Um, the goal of weight loss is to fit in my jeans from high school. I can't be right. The goal of weight loss is to improve the quality of my life. Are we really confused about which one's the right answer? I doubt it. To succeed on your keto diet and maintain your weight loss, there's three really important rules that you need to follow. Each of them adds an element that helps you to remain focused on your goal. And it's true for every area of your life. So relationships, work, and health. When I began keto, I was trying to end excruciating pain in my hip. But I've actually stuck with keto because it didn't only improve the quality of my life, it improved the quality of the life of the people around me. Okay, so eating healthy keto does lead to weight loss. But then I'm actually going to propose that that's not the best reason to do it. Because being lighter doesn't necessarily improve the quality of the life of the people around me. In fact, for most of the people around me, it doesn't matter how much I weigh. So how does this help me to stick with my keto diet? Well, in fact, the interesting thing is that my keto diet gives me something even more important than thinness that does help everybody around me, my family included. Keto improves my overall health. And by improving my health, what it does is it stabilized my mood. So for example, I'm a much more even keeled person, calm. Um, you know, I feel like in the past years, things that would have totally set me off in terms of anger or sadness or fear haven't had that impact on me in quite a long time, which means that when I'm in the world and I'm re reacting to people, reacting to situations, interacting with situations. You're getting the version of me that was able to think it through and give the answer that makes the most sense. And that brings us to the next thing that my good health brings to the world, which is I have energy and that energy allows me to be wide awake and ready to work at work. It allows me to have the energy for my daughter when I get home after work and for Pat and my family, and my friends, when I get together with them, not around work, like my energy levels are so improved and therefore the people that I do engage with get again, the best version of me, my mental clarity. This is important, particularly at work. I'm much more swift at seeing solutions. I'm much more swift at understanding where the problems are coming from. And this will help a lot with my daughter as well. And, and, and anytime I need to manage the children and what they're doing. And so that's my children, my nieces and nephews and any conversations I'm having with them, like that ability to think swiftly and give answers that helps the situation to progress. My one meal a day actually means that I can have more clients in my schedule because I don't take uh, lunch breaks and I can actually have my break whenever I decide to have it. So it means that my schedule matches more people because I can take a break when I feel like it rather than having to take a break based on lunchtime and supper time. I feel amazing. And so therefore I'm able to do many more activities than I was able to do before. So my daughter and I have just recently added bouldering to our list of activities that we do, but uh, three years ago, we added um, skateboarding. So skateboarding tricks, not just skateboarding, because we have long boards for that. And we had those for years. But me feeling more healthy meant that we were able to add skateboarding trickery. Or kick, I don't know if that's the right word, but skateboarding tricks to fun things that we would do when we had the time. And all of these things come back to improving the quality of our lives because I feel amazing because my health has actually improved. And all of this from me allowing myself to understand that quality of life matters more than specific goals that don't necessarily bring my life forward. Wellness Warrior, one of the things I want you to think about is that being able to improve quality of life, so focusing, having the intention of improving the quality of your life means that you're still open to growing as a person. That means that you're looking for ways to level up, for example, your food that you're eating. You're looking for ways to level up your fitness. 
Maybe you're looking for ways to level up the relationships that you have. It might be with your spouse, it might be with your friends, it might be with your kids. By understanding that improving myself is a, is a never ending process. And therefore, things that are simple can still be improved. The hobbies that I do, again, going back to the bouldering, going back to the books I read, going back to the idea that I'm always looking to challenge myself because that brings on growth. When our minds stagnate, that's a bad thing. Wellness Warrior, I want you to pay attention to whether or not you challenge yourself on a regular basis to think a little differently, to act a little differently, to engage a little differently. These things help us to continue to grow and to expand. And that willingness to expand and grow allowed me to try new vegetables on my plate. It allowed me to try new spices for my meats and really figure out how I want to spice things and have them taste delicious to me. And that keeps me committed to my diet, as well as being able to do activities because I feel this great keeps me committed to my, all of these things come back to improving the quality of my life, improving the quality of life around other people around me. Because when we eat dinner all together, my kids get this good quality meal that's not causing damage to their bodies. Self-actualization. That's probably what this would be called in psychology. But that only talks about the me part of it, right? Like trying to be the best version of me that I can be. I'm taking this a little wider because I want you not just to look at how it makes you better, but how you being better helps the people around you also to be better. So there's that relationship that we, we love and, and, and it's so important to us as humans to be connected to others. You being the best version of you means the interactions you have with others become better. And that encourages us to consistently refine our goals, to be aiming at things that helps these relationships, these connections to really feel amazing and for us to always want to have the connections happening. My keto journey began with me trying to heal my hip because I just needed to get back into my sports. I needed to be able to be out there with my daughter and the, and, and my family and doing the fun things that, that was the kind of parent I wanted to be. I wanted to be the parent that was involved, not just sitting on the side, watching them do what they're doing. And by healing my hip, I was able to resume. And then the following year, we added skateboarding. And now this year, four, five years later, we've added bouldering. And I'm sure that at some point I'm going to add something else. Why? This helps my daughter and I have fun things to do together, which means that we spend more time together having fun, which means that we are closer and more connected as a family. And of course, we love doing it. We have fun doing it. Sometimes the boys join us. Sometimes we go alone. And it's an amazing time because it's something that we just both love. The fact that your goal isn't a constant static something. So my goal of health doesn't end because as long as I'm breathing, I will need to work on my health. My goal of interacting in fun ways with my daughter doesn't end because as long as we're interacting, we're going to find new ways of doing fun things together. My goal of having good relationships is always changing and shifting because people change and life changes. There are new challenges. These goals aren't static. They're not one thing. When I put a goal of weigh X amount, when I reach that number, there's really very little reason for me to keep focusing on that goal. But when I choose a goal that allows for continual improvement, because that's what a health goal is. It's about continual improvement. That's what a relationship goal is. It's about continual improvement. When my goals look like that, I'm much more likely to stick with my keto diet. I'm much more likely to stick with whatever work that I'm doing, whatever relationships that I'm in, because I see the shifts, the changes, and hopefully they're all moving in that positive direction that I want. And if they're not, I do the work, going back to that whole decision-making idea, I will do the work to make them look what I want them to look like and understand the impact I have on that process. 
It isn't just that I feel amazing and that's the end of the story. Because I feel amazing, I'm willing to invest in doing more activities and engaging more in my life, which is, which is so cool. So I make that like, I love it. That, that, that's the reason to be healthy is to live your life this fully. So wellness warrior, I want you to consider this. If you're eating on plan, your weight is improving, your health is improving. What's the first improving action that you would add to your life? What is it that you can't wait to try next, do next, that you haven't been doing all this time because you were overweight and you were in pain and you were not feeling well in your body and your skin? Put it in the comments below. Is it gonna be a sport? Is it gonna be an art or a hobby of some kind? Or something else, I don't know. What is it that you're gonna do? Share that news because you can make this happen. It is so freeing to have my health back and to be pain-free. The emotional relief is a huge weight off my shoulders and it's allowed me to try new challenges, new physical challenges in my life. This video is part of a three-part series for an in-depth discussion about managing your emotions and improving your health. Click on this playlist and I'll meet you in the next video.